Roebuck um, we got last week, uh, just skin. All we're going to do is take the, uh, take the fore quarter off. I mean, you basically break a deer down or any animal down into sort of primal sections. You've got your haunches, you've got your saddle, it's a bit here, and you've got your fore quarter, which is your two shoulders, your neck. There's the bit of belly and, and that sort of thing as well, but that more, more comes into the trim side. So what I'll do first of all is I'll, take, I'll, I'll work from the neck down. Um, we'll use this part here as uh, sort of sausage burger meat, um, plus any trim. We'll just, uh, the loins on this, because of the size of the animal, it's quite, quite small and thin, so you won't get any decent chops off it or, or cutlets. Just uh, take some nice strip loins because they're delicious on the barbecue. You can cook them really quick and then they're just they're absolutely amazing. So it's barbie weather, let's get those off. And this, the, uh, the haunches, we'll do a, um, one haunch will be a, uh, it's like a, a, a truss joint. The other one will simply do a butterfly. So again, you can just flap those out on the, uh, on the barbie, sear it, and then sort of slice it. Brilliant for like, having friends around. And we'll French trim the two shanks. Let's get cracking, get the shoulder off. Um, as with most uh, animals, the shoulder is not actually attached by anything. It's just simply, uh, uh, well, simply just muscle, really. Um, now this was shoulder shot, so it's, um, it looks a lot worse than it is. And I'll show you that here. <clears throat> so what we've got is this is simply where the blood from the shot, hydrostatic shot, has basically pushed it, and the force has pushed it up under the shoulder blade. So it looks terrible from here. What we can do is we can simply just pinch this and get rid of that shot damage. This is just, there's nothing wrong with this. It's just that it doesn't look great. So we've got that here. And now if we flick this over, we can then just run our knife down the inside and remove this silver skin. Again, there's nothing wrong with the silver skin. It's just that it, it sort of, it doesn't cook down particularly well. So, uh, goes a bit, a bit tough and sort of reduces your cooking, cooking options really. What we'll do is keep a trim pile over here and I'm just going to bone the shoulder out a bit more of this uh, clotting off. Again there's nothing wrong with it it's just that it, uh, if you see a big lump in a burger or something it doesn't it, it's not the best. What I'm going to do now is start to get to work on the shoulder so I've, again there's no wrong way of doing this uh, ultimately this is going for dice and then ultimately well mince so we just need to get it off. Um, what I do is I start on the uh, start on the forward shank end. It's a ridiculous joint. This you think you just go through like that. It's it's a bit more up endy. You've got the the elbow here. The actual joint itself is a bit further forward than you think. So just get your knife in there and just use a few angles just to get the get the uh, the joint off. And he's got little bits of shank meat here. Again, where possible, just using the uh, using the the, the, the tip of the blade, working around these these bits of bone. Again, some people may wince at my knife skills, but like I say, sort of self-taught. Again, that's uh, that, this end bit here is just where all the the tendons join. Not great. It does end up in the uh, for that bit in the burger. Flop this over. There's a joint that's here. Is our forward part. It's the other side of the blade bone here. Yeah, it's not not huge parts of meat or any of these, this really. Um, this bit here is an excellent, excellent bit for dice, shoulder dice. You want a nice, decent sized cube of shoulder dice. Really nice, dense muscle, which is just nice and lean. No marbling going through it or no sinews going through it. It's really, really good stuff. damage on this one. Again this is clotting. And this will put a lot of people off. They see this thinking, oh my god Jesus Christ this whole thing's completely ruined. But it's not, it's just the it's just where the, the thin membranes of the shoulder has been pushed out with blood and clotting. So we can just grab it here. Just pull, just trim this off. 
sure we lost a bit of meat, but not that much. Right, so we've done the, uh, just taking the shoulders off, so what we're going to do is take the neck off now and work down here. So what I might actually do, just to make, make it a bit more practical, is I take it down in between the fifth and sixth ribs. So if you count from the inside here, so you've got one, two, three, four, five. So in between the fifth and sixth, and that's our fourth quarter, our fourth quarter. Run that the same way. Yeah. Right, so that's... This here is our four quarters. So now we know we've got our neck meat, we've got our loins or our, um, strip loins, and um, we can sort of break it down. I can then get this back in the chiller and it keep it nice and cool. Let's go. Okay, this is just the ribs. Um, again, this is excellent sausage, burger meat, mince casserole dice, it's all really, really good stuff. I'm going to just get my knife down on the inside of this um, little eyelet there. Let's run it all the way down the, the neck. Now on a larger animal, this is a lot more worthwhile this. I mean, on something this small, it, you could go on forever trying to get every last little scrap out, and that's, that's if you want to, it's absolutely fine. Um, but we're not gonna be too fastidious with this one, because like I said, we'll be here all day, and the yield will get off it. It's not really worth the, uh, the effort. Um, one thing I would say is that when you're doing this, avoid this bit here. This is the, uh, the tendon that keeps the neck up and it's just a massive stretchy bit of paddy whack. You will never cook that out, you'll never get it with your teeth. I'm just going to pull that, it's going to stop pot. 